Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Today we are going to learn one of the greatest features of DevMotion 2025.1 Preview and it's going to be Configuration Tool. With the Configuration Tool, you can preview interactive scenes for your projects. For instance, if you export your project as a standalone file, in that project you will be able to change materials, you can present designing alternatives, you can change the ambient and environment settings with one click. You can change your models, for instance, with one click. You can change your chair type and kind of some bed type, for instance. Of course, you can change them in your preview rendering settings, but with the configuration tool, your customers will be able to do that with one click if you allow them as setup. All right. In order to use the configuration tool, we are going to click the media icon right here and you will see a couple of options. First one is, you know, the image saving and the second one for the video and this one is the sequence, panoramic and panorama set and explorer and also the phasing group and this one is for the configuration. We will click this and you will see an icon here. It's going to start your configuration progress. Well, let's start with changing material set. For instance, if you want to give an alternative scene for facade, let's go to the front facade and I want to change this wall material. Therefore, I'm going to click this options and I am going to select the material switch. After that, I will hit plus and this material will be saved into this state zero. Now we will assign different material for this wall. For instance, let's go to material, let's go to stones and maybe we can try this stone zero three, uh, but I'm going to use the apply to object and I'm just going to drag and drop here. Maybe this one is better. But uh, before that, I will change the UV type to cubic. And that's it. Now, after that, we will just hit this plus. And now we have our alternative material. State 1 and state 0. The default one. Um, let's update this texture. Let's hit the T, pick up this material, and from the UV setup, let's reduce it. And we are just going to click this update. Second and first. All right. To see it better, I'm going to change the sun direction. A more better. And even I can change the camera exposure. Done. Now, if you want to give additional third alternative, you can it to that. Um, let's say that it's going to be a metal and maybe aluminum siding let's just drag and drop right there and after that we will hit apply and we have the third second and first but all of them are gray so we need to separate them with a different icon we can give thumbnails to do it first uh, we will uh, give a looking direction and after that we will click these options and click capture thumbnail. Second, we will click first, capture, and third one. Well done. We can see the previews here. And this is the icon which is going to change the material of the scene. By clicking this, you will see that. 
with this icon you have options you can uh, give different icon shapes you can change their size under the details trigger opacity trigger size but if you increase uh, like this you will see uh, this tool hides another invisible object so this is not useful maybe a bug they will be they will fix this issue anyways now um, if you change the behavior type switch to list and if you click this icon you will see your options the differences is by switching you will just click this icon and with the list we have a list to choose let's click our one of the state it's not important every uh, click will lead you to this menu and for the location as you can see we have the 2d layer but if we click the 3d object you will see that object is located here and we can change its position for instance here i'm going to hit the shift and click this road and just elevate after that i will increase the trigger size to see it better maybe changing the material icon type we can give a color something like this and we can fade the trigger but if we zoom inside we will be able to see it by changing this fade distance anyways now let's test it out let's click this icon here and now we are playing for the bulk let's click here and click this walking mode pedestrian mode now i'm here and i'm going to click that and choose the alternative material setup that's great let's go back with the escape and there we go we have assigned the material options you can also change the model type for instance i can change this uh, model of this car to do it we will click this configuration tool and we will apply this time the visibility and we will hit plus and this hook 01 is uh, assigned to this so we can uh, click capture thumbnail just like this and after that i'm going to place another object um vehicle cars another one maybe model let's rotate and place the same position let's keep another and maybe bigger one after correcting the direction we can place to place now if we click the state zero every car is visible we are going to fix them now let's make invisible this one and the second car and hit update after that i'm going to select this car make invisible and make visible this sedan 05 and click this plus and after that i'm going to give a thumbnail just like this let's continue let's make invisible this visible this one and that the default car is invisible as well and after that i'm going to hit the plus click this icon and click capture thumbnail that's it now i have the options 
as you can see and we can turn it to the 3d object Hit the shift click here elevate and change trigger size make it red i don't know and let's give another uh, icon or we, you can just give as is this test test it out i'm walking come to here changing all type and i'm bored with this vehicle and i'm going to click this card great all right also we have different options for the configurations which are ambience and uh, properties for your models both of them very important let's continue for the properties uh, let's say that you want to open a door for instance this garage door i didn't set up this garage door according to uh, this tutorial but this is going to be a great example for you i'm going to click these options click properties and i'm going to save this setup for this scene after that i'm going to go to the tools animators and translators i'm going to add a translator for this garage door after that uh, i can just move this garage door inside this to this translator or we have another option so you can click this object link and click this garage door and you will see this started to opening and for the animation you can uh, use ping pong to make it reverse it's going to be open and down please uh, ignore the above part this is for educational purpose only you know now i'm going to stop this animation unclick display and i'm going to update this and gonna give you a thumbnail after that i will click this play and maybe for this animation we can make it once going to be up and stop then we will click this plus and this is going to be open Day zero, close, and date one, two, open. You are free to leave your icon here, or you are free to turn it to 3D object and use it like so. Now I'm in the traveling mode. I move here and I want to close gate then click that's it I want to change this car click here open the gate Tata. very elegant let's change this wall type and there you go this is the power of the configuration tool now the last part to change the ambience very easy now you know the way how to do it but i'm going to show you let's click the configuration by the way this is important to give them some names for instance this one is uh, for the garage door Let's click the rename, garage door, enter. This is going to be car option, car model options. 
and this one is for the whole material type and we are going to add ambience type for the last one um it was configuration three let's just change the name for the ambience as it entered for inside and for the setup but default so this update capture and um let's change the icon type therefore i'm going to click i'm going to click this icon and then I'm going to click ambience environments um, as you can see we have the new feature of the TV motion 20 25.1 which is dynamic sky and HDRI you can switch between them very fastly under the environment preset let's say that we are going to click rainy day and I want to reduce the particle size therefore uh, I have options I can change this slider or um, I can change the cloud types let's go to season choose this maybe I will go to details and uncheck this precipitation just like this and i think the exposure is too much therefore i'm going to click camera click local exposure and change the highlight setup or reduce the exposure little change the shadow And something like this. After that, if uh, I'm satisfied with option, I will click give a thumbnail. After that, I will go to environment. Maybe this time I can use HDRI. And I will change the camera exposure for this. Go to environment, change the rotation for a proper sun position and hit apply and click capture thumbnail. Now let's try that. Uh, we haven't turned it into the 3D object, so this is always be visible on your projects, always will be there. Our cast sunny day and default sun style this stop great now what happens if we uh, change all of the icons to 2d instead of 3d your all of the icons will be uh, located side to side let's go to the wall material type and 2d layer go back with 2d layer state garage door same and this is uh, by default let's click the test and you will see all of setups will be visible right here anyways that's how you can use the configuration tool for architect i'm sorry for tv motion and i hope you have learned something new if so, please hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe if you want to see similar tutorials like this. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.